everyone and welcome to Montefish channel. Today's video is going to be inspired by Finnish Mutat Ninja Turtles. I'm going to try to use all four weapons in the sparring. I am not expert in any of those weapons, but I will try my best. And after that, I will try to fight like Ninja Turtle without weapons. So, let's get started. So in this round I was trying to use more this kind of strikes because Donatello was fighting mostly like this, not uh, this kind of type of striking. I prefer fighting with bow like this, you're losing like a stick, a lot of jabs and strike in the face or foot or whatever. Uh, this one it's cool because you have a two enemies, you can be fast, but now you have a less reach than this. So, yeah, next. Two swords. This is pretty cool because I can block it and and uh, stab something. But Ninjato is a little bit shorter than Katana, so many times I was trying to stab him, but I missed a few centimeters. And yeah, next. So the size 
was extremely difficult to come close to the eye with katana because they are short weapons. A few times I could catch it, his sword, but for him it was very really easy to just remove it and do another strike. So yeah, Rafael had a pretty hard work. <laughs> yeah, next. So this was the last round, Michelangelo, two nunchakus, actually it was surprising good, better than Sai, I think, because I could, you know, do some crazy stuff, confuse my opponent a little bit, but still, my opponent gave me a lot of chances, he go easy when I have a shorter weapons, so it's not really real test, but yeah, I have fun with this, so let's try the next. Also, look at this. If you uh, stretch out the nunchako, and if you look here, yeah. I mean, it's a difference. Yes, exactly. So, the conclusion is, Rafael has the worst weapon, Donatello the best, then uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Rafael last place. This is why Rafael was a tank. He was the, the biggest, <laughs> the toughest. So, probably this is why this weapon made him tough. He have to be tough to fight with this. <laughs> and uh, one last thing I would say that we uh, did from other sparring. If you were up against someone with a longer weapon, you could use the side to throw. Yes. A bit risky, but a good strategy. Next.
Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. It's a little bit different than normal, but I hope you like it. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.